is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day. And you know, with the world opening back up, everything getting back to normal, if you want to say that, I figured uh, we all could use some friendly advice from someone who is a little smarter than us Americans. So, from Creepsylvania, we have here the Cremator from Ghoul. That's right, you're all a bunch of fucking dumb you Americans. I cannot stand you. Just with your unsalted butter, it's fucking disgusting. What's wrong with you? So let me ask you, uh, has uh, Creepsylvania taken any sort of hit from the COVID-19 pandemic? I mean, you know, there's been a lot of death, but that's kind of the way it is around here. We're not really noticed too much. Uh, I guess, uh, we, you know, we have a shelter in place order, but this is long standing because Commandant the Brunkum is a fascist piece of shit. Has the, uh, has the COVID made its way down into the catacombs to actually mess with ghoul? No, uh, we've been very careful. We've been wearing our masks for like 20 years. Good, good. And it, it's just, it's just that, or do you have an actual mask underneath the hood? I don't even have a, a like most of my lower jaw underneath the hood. Yeah, so it's just... it can't get in my mouth if I don't have a whole mouth. It's very true. It's very, very true. I, I've been running out of, you know, all these stores are closed in Creepsylvania. So I've been making my own cocktails using the sewer water that runs down here. Makes it, it gives a real kick. Yeah, you, you probably are immune to just about everything at this point. I've had just about it all, and pretty sure boils, warts, uh, my dick fell off. That was unrelated. It was actually an explosion. Well, I got nothing left to fucking lose. So as someone who has, has lived through all of this stuff, uh, we've, we're coming out of this pandemic now, or so the government says. Uh, a bunch of Karens and Kyles want to get back to work. Uh, what would you What would you recommend? Do you have any advice for the country, for the people of America? Well, I recommend that Karen and Kyle go back to work immediately. Everyone else, you should probably wait a little bit, but uh, Karen and Kyle, it's perfectly safe. If you're from Ohio and you wear like one of those military cunt caps while you're protesting at the state house, it's all safe. Go back to work. It's no problem. Everyone else, stay inside. <laughs> Fuck up. So, yeah, we're still in the middle of this shit. You're in the middle of this shit. We're gonna be in this shit for like a year to a year and a half, let's be honest. Some places might open, maybe you can get your hair done. But you want to see the ghoul live? I guess you check out the YouTube. Is it is it bad that I kind of want, uh, you know, like a second coming of the COVID virus to really teach these people a lesson? Uh, it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I do not disagree. There are certain people, of course, we all wish would get the COVID. Instead, it's a bunch of poor people. Elon Musk wants to put his workers back in the factory. Well, the workers, I think, should want to put Elon Musk into space. Yeah, yeah, I don't disagree. As much as I want to like Elon Musk, I just can't make myself do it. Well, you know, there's something so likable about uh, the rich kid heir from a family that runs an emerald mine in South Africa. What a relatable fellow. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds like sounds like someone I went to school with. Yeah, you went to. You should have been better friends with this guy. Should have. Yes, my uh, my house could use some uh, renovations. He could pay for. Your house could use some renovations. What are you talking? I just got new candles. They're, they're beautiful. I Pandemic! Do you know how hard it is <laughs> to find fucking candles right now? Yeah, you're not wrong. Hey, it is so easy to get Captain Crunch Oops All Berries. But try getting a fucking candle or some flour. Or, you know, baking a lot I, I just want a recommendation. You know, if you're running out of flour, you can always just grind up the bones of your enemies and make a fine powder. Good call. Works really good. Makes good work with my sourdough start. I think next up is gonna be cooking with Cremator. Oh no! Oh, AJ, it's I think. Next up is cooking with Dissector. Okay. He's gonna have a show because they're sick of just hearing me talk in front of the same <laughs> fucking background. So we got 
Dissector is gonna finally do something on the YouTubes and probably the Facebooks and the IGTVs, even though that's a total pain in the ass. Fuck you, Instagram, you're the worst fucking platform to fucking upload anything to more than a fucking photo of uh, you're drinking at the beach, but you're an Instagram model. It works great for them, but for the ghoul, it's just a real complicated thing. You know why that is? I think it's because ghoul... Yeah, cooking show with us. Ghoul hasn't followed me on Instagram. That's probably why. I solved it. We haven't? <laughs> That's kind of fucked up, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it keeps me up at night, but uh, it is what it is. Well, I'll make, uh, I'll make sure to follow you. I'm sure some of our friends, uh, the friends of Ghoul, follow you already. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen your things on my friend's tiny mesmetrons they keep in their pocket. I maybe, maybe. Maybe. Uh, so you were talking about shortages earlier with those candles. Could you tell us anything about the toilet paper situation in Creepsylvania? Oh, the toilet paper situation! It's, a, it's, it's always pretty bad here. I mean, you know, we're kind of like a... What's lower than third world? Seventh? Seventh world country. So toilet paper has always been hard, but for ghoul, we don't use toilet paper right. all that often. But uh, I did, you know, I've got this... I'm using these crotch bright reuse it's reusable toilet paper. That is awesome. You just like you wipe your ass and then you stick this in a bucket with water and you just get rid of the doo-doo. Crotch bright. Recommended by Google. You could you could kill two birds with one stone by wiping your ass and then pissing on the crotch bright. No water needed. What do you think what do you think the bucket is full of? Okay, you got me. God, you're smart. See, this is why I have you on here telling us what to do. I'm gonna make sure you're all okay so that we can come back to America and make sure that you're not all okay. So I gotta ask you something. Once everything does get back to normal, and I've seen this asked by a lot of people, not just me, uh, are there any more plans for Ghoul to join up with Guar? Fucking ass Guar, man. They're just hiding out in Antarctica, those fucking cowards. We're living amongst you, the people. Right, right, right. So the people we kill, but we live amongst you. We are the things that go bump in the night. Guar is dead. You know, they're jerking them each other off in Antarctica or something, hanging out with some seals. I don't know. Seals? <laughs> Not penguins, seals. Uh... Yeah, they, blew, they, they, they blew a seal. Yes, yes, they did. I heard that they learned how to play the uh, fallopian tube, so maybe it's it's a seal's fallopian tube. I guess that would make sense. Uh, that, that, so what, that's the way they would go, killing normal animals. It does seem to be in popular demand. I'm just throwing it out there. And I will say, Ghoul is maybe the only band I've ever seen accepted at a Guar show besides Guar. Well, uh, did you mean the Guar fans did not spit on us constantly? Yes. You literally did not get booed off stage. I will take that as an acceptance. We thank you, Bohabs, all of you. You have enriched ghouls' lives immensely, as has the scum dogs and lords of the universe war. We love those guys. We'll do anything with them ever again. So, quarantine's pretty much at an end here. Uh, no quarantine advice from you, but if there is any last minute things that you can throw out there to help us get back to normal, we'll take them. Well, you know, it's, it might not be in quarantine, but you still need to go up and be safe out there. You know, you should always wear a, a mask wherever you go. Wear the mask so you don't spread the COVID, okay? This is a good one because it will help you with social distancing. No one will come near you. And you know, just still be careful. You're walking around, people coughing. You want to wear another pair of feet on the outside that you can wash. And you know, you take care of this one is outside. Outside is fine. And then you've got your, your normal, I, I'm a little cramped up here. You've got your normal shoes inside. You know, if you want to make sure to cleanse the inside of your body, guzzle lots of ghoul hot sauce. It kills the virus dead. That's what I read in, or saw this thing called the Plandemic. It's a movie, I think it's very interesting. They offer good advice like gargling hot sauce. Cool. Go back to <laughs> things great. Yeah, great. Dying anymore. 
I was gonna ask you if there was anything you wanted to plug at the end of this, but that hot sauce one came so naturally that I'm not even upset about it. Well, you know, I mean, if we're done here, I'm just gonna just gonna get to reading this comic book. Oh, that's great. What is that? Have anything? Uh, I, some dumb band put out a comic. You could buy it. It's a, maybe it's cool. Where can you buy that? Oh my goodness. I think you can buy this on uh, the website of the guy who made it, uh, DrSewage.com. That's sewage with a K, with a K, Dr. Sewage with a K. Something like that, I don't You can get it there, and uh, you can read all about Ghoul in better times when we can walk freely on the streets and kill you all. I think I'd like to buy one, and maybe I'll throw that in the description of this video. Uh, you know you're just, I'm gonna send you one because I feel really bad about that Instagram thing, bro. <laughs> no, it's okay. You sent me, you sent me my COVID mask. That's right. No disease can get past the amount of bacteria right here. It was a win-win because when I, when I, when I threw it on, uh, I actually started to grow these mushrooms and I was kind of sad at first, but then I cut them off and ate them and it was the greatest experience of my life. That's right. Yeah, no, we have a lot of fun with the shrooms, you know, it's like a... They're in here all the time, keeping me happy. Yes, a lot of fun, Gus. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You're a funny, fun guy. I, I try. It's weird that so many people hate me. I don't get it. They think you should be punished and sent to the punitentiary. All right, Cremator. Well, I definitely appreciate your time, and I'm sure that America greatly appreciates all of your advice, and uh, hopefully they adhere to your warnings, and uh, we can get back to normal. Okay, yes, and I'm gonna go back to getting head. <laughs> great, great. I hope you have fun with that. What what is he doing? Cause I didn't we say your dick fell off? I've got like one inch left. It's like an acorn. Yeah, it's not <laughs> very big and on the Great. Well hey, thank you very, very much. We appreciate it. Yeah. Go away.